Hello and welcome to the official opening of this Jazz Ahead 2021, the all digital edition with all real live people on stage here and some more musicians later on today in that huge hall just a few steps down from here. We welcome everybody. Thanks for inviting us into your home. Usually it's the other way around. But we will make this sweet and short. There are some great things coming up, some greetings from Dee Dee Bridgewater that all of us have been waiting for, uh, at least since yesterday, since we knew that this was coming and how great it was. But first off, next to me is Hans-Peter Schneider, who's not only the CEO of Messe Bremen, which is uh, the reason we are here, but you're also the inventor and the initiator of Jazz Ahead, a very risky venture, which at some point uh, was declared a, a too high a risk, a schnapps idee, as we call it in German. But now it's such a success, and uh, I'm glad you're here to say a few words to our very international audience. Yes, thank you. Well, it's not uh, April in Paris, it's uh, April in Bremen, and uh, every April uh, it's a time where Jazz Ahead normally takes place here with um, thousands of enthusiastic people from all over the world to come here. This time it's different, but it's Jazz Ahead. And uh, when we speak to you, I'm very sure you are at home. Uh, on your sofa or in your office or wherever, so that we are just talking to you, you being at home. We are very glad that this time uh, Jazz Ahead uh, takes place in that curious times uh, here as well, and that we can communicate uh, all over the wireless wherever you may be. Well, last time it didn't take place, this time it takes place and we are very grateful uh, for the tremendous support from the supporting institutions and especially from our long-term partners, um, the Federal Government Commissioner of Culture and the Media and the Initiative Music. Without their support for very many years and especially for this year, this event wouldn't have happened this time. Well, you will ask yourself, where is the partner country? This time we don't have one. Uh, we will postpone it to the next year. So everything is arranged. Uh, but this time we have uh, uh, collaborated with uh, the International Jazz Day, which is a very uh, honorable partner for us. Uh, and they will, well, celebrate their day together in April in Bremen together with us. So thank to everybody who is listening or watching uh, the wireless, I say, what kind of it is, uh, it may be everything. And nice for us, well, to see you, to be seen, and to see you next year here in Bremen, again in April in Bremen, not in Paris. We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when, but it might be Bremen. Thank you, Hans-Peter Schneider. And Sibylle Konitschki, as I've just announced you as the initiator and inventor of Jazz Ahead, has been called Miss Jazz Ahead. We're very grateful for her to be here and to spread her joy and her knowledge and uh, to make this all possible for all of us, really. Sibylle Konitschki, thank you very much for being here. Also, the artistic directors are there. Uli Beckerhoff and Peter Schulze, who are responsible for the wonderful music that we will hear here in the coming days. And I think now it's time to raise our glasses to this wonderful event. It is uh, not what it looks like. It's too early for that. It's Ginger Baker Ale. Thank you very much, opening this Jazz Ahead. Cheers to Jazz Ahead, 15 Cheers. years. Cheers. Cheers. Sweet. <laughs> now we're coming to someone very important who's already been announced. She sent us a greeting, but the real greeting was already sent uh, way before in the form of 1 billion euro support for Neustadt Kultur. 
She is the federal government commissioner for culture and the media. I must say that not all of this money went to Jazz Ahead. Um, <laughs> she sent us a very warm greeting from her home, her office in our capital. Here is Monika Grütters. Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, liebe Jazzfreundinnen und Freunde, verehrte Musikerinnen und Musiker, 2020 sei das Jahr der Improvisation gewesen, so schrieb kürzlich eine deutsche Wochenzeitung im Rückblick auf unser vergangenes Jahr. Die Corona-Krise hat die Kultur und ganz besonders natürlich auch die Jazzszene echt hart getroffen. Angesichts der vielen neuen Herausforderungen erfordert sie in etlichen Bereichen Improvisation, das große Markenzeichen des Jazz. Ein Vorbild in dieser Kunst sind Jazzmusikerinnen und Musiker, ihre Fähigkeit mit neuen Situationen kreativ umzugehen, aber natürlich auch Themen und Motive aufzugreifen und weiterzuentwickeln, ist über die Musik hinaus eine echte Quelle der Inspiration. Sie zeigt, welche neuen Wege sich auftun können, wenn man genau zuhört und auch mal vom Gewohnten abweicht. Meisterinnen und Meister der Improvisation sind aber nicht nur die Jazzmusikerinnen und Musiker selbst, denen die Jazz hält, seit ihrer ersten Ausgabe eine wichtige Präsentationsplattform bietet. Auch das Jesse Head Team unter der Leitung von Sibylle Konitschki, Uli Beckerhoff und Peter Schulze stellt in diesem Jahr mit vielen neuen Ideen, natürlich gerade bei digitalen Formaten, einmal mehr echtes Improvisationstalent unter Beweis. Dass die Messe Jesse Head anlässlich ihrer 15. Jubiläumsausgabe mit dem Veranstalter des Internationalen Jazz Day, dem Herbie Hancock Institut, kooperiert, passt im Übrigen nicht nur zum Innovationsgeist des engagierten Jazz Ahead Teams, sondern auch zum weltoffenen Charakter des Jazz. Der Journalist und Jazz-Spezialist Roland Spiegel sagte einmal, die Geschichte des Jazz ist die Geschichte des Einanderumarmens von Kulturen, die sich vorher fremd waren. Ich finde das sehr schön und mehr als jede andere Musikform hat der Jazz Einflüsse aus fast allen Kontinenten und Kulturen aufgenommen. Jazz ist und vermittelt kulturelle Vielfalt. Deshalb ist es auch nur konsequent, dass die weltgrößte Jazzmesse den 10. Internationalen Jazz Day am 30. April gemeinsam in Umarmung mit der Welt feiert. Und ohnehin hat die Jazz Ahead ja längst ihren festen Platz nicht nur im Kalender der deutschen, sondern auch der internationalen Szene gefunden. Sie ist globaler Branchentreff für Austausch, für Kontakte und für Kooperationen. Und zugleich ist sie die Bühne für die deutsche Jazzszene. In den vergangenen Jahrzehnten hat sich Jazz aus Deutschland ja auch zu einem weltweit beachteten kulturellen Aushängeschild entwickelt. Nicht nur mit herausragenden Künstlerinnen und Künstlern, sondern auch mit 350 Festivals und über 700 Spielstätten ist Jazz hierzulande jedenfalls vielfältig und mehr denn je auch auf der Höhe der Zeit. Um diese Vielfalt zu erhalten, haben wir in den vergangenen Jahren unser Bundesengagement für den Jazz und für die Jazz Ahead erweitert und mit über 13 Millionen Euro werden wir außerdem den Bau eines neuen Zentrums für Jazz und improvisierte Musik in Berlin unterstützen, das sich dem Geist des Jazz entsprechend auch anderen Sparten und der freien Musikszene öffnet. Und nicht zuletzt, darüber freue ich mich besonders, haben wir in, in wenigen Wochen vor, den Deutschen Jazzpreis aus der Taufe zu heben. Er soll die Innovationskraft jazzmusikalischen Schaffens noch mehr ins Rampenlicht holen. Herbie Hancock sagte einmal, es geht nicht darum, unsere Begrenzung zu finden, sondern darum, unsere Unendlichkeit zu entdecken. Mir gefällt das sehr gut. Und dabei wünsche ich den Musikerinnen und Musikern auf der Jazz Ahead viel Freude und dem Publikum beeindruckende Erlebnisse aus dem Reich der Improvisation. Herzlichen Glückwunsch also zum 15. Geburtstag. Jazz does have friends in high places. Monika Grütters, thank you very much for this. She mentioned that there are, I have to read this because it's hard to believe, 350 festivals and 700 clubs in Germany all catering to jazz. Now, obviously, jazz does have a very strong voice here and internationally. And partly responsible for that 
is the German Jazz Expo part of Jazz Ahead? Because we're not only inviting in people from all over the world, but we're spreading the good news about the music that is being made here and the musicians. There are many actually in the program in the German Jazz Expo this year. Nia Kay, the true Harry Knowles, the Tilo Weber Quartet with his uh, incredible fawns, Tobias Meinhardt, his Berlin people. Um, well, here's a little film about the German Jazz Expo. German jazz always plays an important role at Jazz Ahead in Bremen, Germany. Here are some clippings from the past, showing the variety of jazz made in Germany. First, the quintet of Bavarian drummer Peter Gall. German singer Simin Thunder has also roots in Afghanistan, and you can hear it. Here she is with cellist Jörg Brinkmann. Saxophone player Daniel Erdmann temporarily lives in France and teamed up with French violinist Theo Zaccaldi and British vibist Jim Hart for his trio Velvet Revolution. Germans can also have fun. Listen to a clip from Rhinelander band Botticelli Baby. Thank you. 
Trombonist Yannick Truman is part of the vivid jazz scene in Cologne. He runs a label there and his sextet on the more cutting edge side. Der Weise Panda, which means the wise panda bear, a band from Cologne too, formed by singer Micah Küster, rounds off the short overview of German Jazz Expo at Jazz Ahead. There is much more to discover on Jazz Ahead YouTube channel. Wow, did you see that? There was a real audience. Incredible. Let's hope we'll have that here rather sooner than later. And while you were watching this video on the German Jazz Expo, we invited an American up to the stage. We switched it all around, all around because we want to introduce to you a special partnership that we're starting this year with the Herbie Hancock Institute in Washington. Can you believe it? Herbie Hancock, one of the greatest jazz musicians on the planet, still alive and living and breathing and making beautiful music, has his own institute. And not only that, they created International Jazz Day, which for the first time this year does a collaboration with Jazz Ahead. And here to tell us a little bit about that is someone I met at Jazz Ahead, believe it or not, Jeff Levinson. Jeff. How did this come about, and why was Jazz Ahead chosen as a destination and a partner for International Jazz Day? Well, first off, it's an extremely exciting partnership and opportunity. And I must say, as I'm watching the, um, the video of the uh, German Jazz Showcase artists, I am, I am reminded of how exhilarating and alive the scene is. And interestingly enough, that scene or that energy, that life force, which is all about hope and optimism, uh, precisely the kinds of emotions that uh, uh, we could use in great supply these days, um, <laughs> This is exactly the fulfillment of what the Herbie Hancock Institute is all about. It's uh, particularly timely and fitting that uh, International Jazz Day and Jazz Ahead should come together um, in celebration of not just the music, but the humanity and the, um, the bonding uh, abilities of this music. It's, uh, it's very timely and, dare I say, crucial to our collective well-being. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow. 
Thank you very much, Jeff Levinson. You are so very welcome. And International Jazz Day, if uh, lest we forget, is tomorrow. It is. It's celebrated all over the world. And the videos, uh, some of the things that will be taking place as part of uh, International Jazz Day will also be streamed on their website, right? Uh, there'll be a, a great presence of the activities here on the International uh, Jazz website. I should say, however, though International Jazz Day is a formal declaration of jazz, and it is the one day where we uh, certify in a global way how important this music is, the people that uh, travel through um, Jazz Ahead, uh, they live this life. <laughs> this is their world. This is um, the, fundamentally their mission statement and the ideals by which they live by, and I think that is a, a very important reminder for us all. And now also in partnership with International Jazz Day, we have a greeting from the great Dee Dee Bridgewater, who has been living jazz for as long as I can remember. I do remember a show as a rather um, young boy being very impressed by Dee Dee on stage at the Berlin Jazz Festival, wearing a leather dress that had very strategically placed holes in it. But um, that's beside the point. She's all dressed <laughs> now and here to give us this wonderful greeting for International <laughs> Jazz Day, Dee Dee Bridgewater. Hello, Jazz Ahead 2021. I'm Dee Dee Bridgewater, speaking to you from my home in New Orleans, Louisiana. On behalf of the Herbie Hancock Institute of Jazz, I would like to send our heartfelt congratulations to the organizers, artists, and participants in this year's virtual edition of Jazz Ahead. The past year has been tremendously difficult for people everywhere. And for us in the jazz community, it has posed unique challenges. I'm so pleased to know that you are moving forward with this important event, which every year plays such a significant role in promoting positive exchange and development for jazz most especially for young artists who are the future of this music. I also want to thank Jazz Ahead for dedicating the 2021 edition to International Jazz Day. As the lead organization responsible for coordinating and promoting Jazz Day each year, the Herbie Hancock Institute is tremendously honored to welcome Jazz Ahead into our family of partners. Every year on and around April 30th, the world comes together to recognize jazz music for its history of promoting peace, dialogue, and cooperation between people of vastly different backgrounds. As I'm sure you will all agree, this positive message has never been more relevant or more necessary than right now. We are deeply grateful to Jazz Ahead for helping us spread the word and look forward to a fruitful collaboration in the years to come. Once again, congratulations on this year's event and best wishes for a successful program. Please stay healthy and well and happy International Jazz Day. A very special greeting from New Orleans to Bremen, the home of the Jazz Ahead. And as some of you might never have been here or might never have been outside of the trade fair or the festival, we've put together a few impressions of this beautiful city of Bremen. It may be April in Bremen, but here's what that looks like.
Bremen, the city of the jazz ahead. And now we have another greeting for our special digital edition this year. As usual, the mayor opens up this election. The last time Jazz Ahead was actually held in place here, the elections were taking place, and I remember a lot of posters of this gentleman right here who won and who will announce the Jazz Ahead for the first time, the reigning Lord Mayor of Bremen, Dr. Andreas Bovenschulte. Dear friends of jazz, when we talk about jazz, we talk about improvisation. Because improvisation is what makes this dynamic and creative kind of music so very inspiring. Sometimes it works, sometimes it fails, but that's what we face when we're dealing with improvisation. Jan Gabarek said, the Norwegian jazz saxophonist. And Roger Willemsen, the German writer, film producer and jazz connoisseur, saw the ability to improvise as an element of freedom. Jazz, he said, always involves great unpredictability. So in that sense, Jazz Ahead is discovering its own essence with 2021's Pandemic Edition. To get the event up and running, the organizers around Sibylle Kornitschke, Peter Schulze and Uli Beckerhoff often had to imply their great talent for improvisation and their ability to handle the unpredictable. Paths are made by walking, as we all know. And the magnificent program for the Just Jazz Ahead anniversary is proof that we are on a very good way, despite all the stumbling blocks caused by the coronavirus. As Bremen's mayor and minister of culture, not to mention as a music lover, I want to express my great respect, indeed my highest regard for your achievements. Thank you very much. I wish you and your international audience from all over the world four inspirational days in the spirit of improvisation. Close together from afar is this year's motto of the festival. Unfortunately, there won't be a partner country this time round. But on the other hand, the whole world will be our guest thanks to a special collaboration. International Jazz Day. International Jazz Day, proclaimed by UNESCO 10 years ago, is celebrated jointly by Jazz Ahead and the Herbie Hancock Institute of Jazz this Friday, with a program especially composed to mark the occasion. This is a perfect match for a global event that will bring together participants from more than 60 nations. In that sense, Jazz Ahead is and remains a highly important event for the traditionally cosmopolitan free Hanseatic city of Bremen and its lively music scene. Both the federal government and the state of Bremen are determined to support, safeguard and expand the festival and the music fair. So I'm absolutely delighted and proud to be able to tell you that in the future people are going to hear even more from Bremen as a jazz venue. Promised. For the simple reason, and let me close here with a quote from that legendary sax player Charlie Parker, because jazz is more than just music. Jazz is an attitude to life. Thank you very much. The mayor of the city of Bremen, Dr. Andreas Bovenschulte. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time for music, because that's what all of this is about. And for the first time, I will hand over to our main stage where Uli Beckerhoff is already waiting to announce a group led by someone he met when Uli was 21 and that guy was an aspiring trumpet player, um, only 11 years old, and the teacher told him that's a talent to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, Uli Beckerhoff will now announce the Markus Stockhausen group. Thank you, Gertz. Um, now we come to the point why we invented Jazz Ahead, the music, especially improvised music and jazz. And uh, we are really happy that we realized in these times, difficult times, that finally we have a lot of live bands playing here on a wonderful stage in Bremen. And uh, as Götz mentioned already, this trumpet player 
I know since a long time. We had the same teacher. When Marcus was about 10, 11, I was 10 years older, and our teacher said, or said to me, told me, that there is a young trumpet player, Markus Stockhausen, with an enormous talent. And Markus, to be honest, you proved that over the last 50 years, that you are not only an enormous, fantastic talent, <laughs> but a big, fantastic trumpet player and musician. You will introduce the band later, after you play it. And I have to confess that Jazz Ahead, in all these years, have become really uh, what you say in English, Pungblatt, we say in German, for young musicians to get into the scene, but also from established musicians to get into the international circuit of jazz. And uh, we have the 15th edition. It's a jubilee, in a way, it's a little jubilee different in the way we try to make it, but the times are like they are, so we do it this way. So please, for the first live band here, uh, we say hello and thank you very much for being here, the Markus Stockhausen Group. Thank you.
Hello, everybody in Germany, in Europe, in the whole world, whoever's watching this opening of the Jazz Ahead, welcome. I'm very happy and proud to be part of this. I would like to introduce the band as it is today. Jeroen van Fleet on piano, a little bit keyboard. Then as a guest musician on this occasion, Sebastian Grams on double bass and Christian Tomé, a long-standing friend on drums, percussion. With Christians, we have been playing together since 2004 in various combinations. You heard two compositions in sequence, Ein Lächeln, which, no, sorry. <laughs> we started with Sunday Morning and then the next one called To See. And we continue with three songs, Ein Lächeln, which is a smile, and then a ballad with the title There's Always Hope, because there's always hope. <laughs> in spite of what's going on, there's always hope. And let's pray for a free and honest world. And the last one will be called Flow. Thank you so much for listening to our music. Have a good time. Thank you.